ground-based astronomy could be impossible in 40 years because of pollution from aircraft exhaust trails and climate change. An expert says aircraft condensation trails known as contrails can dissipate, becoming indistinguishable from other clouds if trends in cheap air travel continue, says Professor Jerry Gilmer. The year of ground astronomy may come to an end much earlier than most had predicted. Aircraft along with climate change will contribute to increased cloud cover. The Temescal is based on extrapolating air traffic growth figures. The BBC has learned that the calculations were made as part of preparations for an upcoming observatory project called the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT. The ELT is intended to probe planets around nearby stars and look for extremely faint objects in the universe. Vision impaired climate change is also expected to increase the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere through evaporation, contributing to overall cloudiness. The increase in cloud cover would affect both optical and infrared red astronomy, which would have to be carried out from space. Radio astronomy would continue to be ground-based. Identical appearance contrails often present little more than a transient nuisance to astronomers, but when certain weather conditions prevail, they can break to look like natural clouds. Alger Peterson, an astronomer at the Niels Bar Institute in Copenhagen, Denmark, who has studied contrails, explained, you can recall honest the jet contrails when they are young, so you can stop your observation and then restart as soon as the contrail has passed the field of view of the telescope.